Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is March 22nd, 2013. This is Texan TV News from Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas, and I am Kendra Gear. In today's headlines, Tarleton students break a Guinness World Record. Local filmmaker has been accepted to have his no-budget feature in International Film Festival. A paroled Colorado inmate who may be linked to prison chief led Texas police on a high-speed chase. BP lobbies to sanction its cement company for withholding possible evidence during its trial. Twenty people have died during religious riots in the past two days. Buffalo Savers Steve Ott won the game on the sixth round of shootouts. In campus news, on Thursday, Tarleton students helped break the Guinness World Record of, people, of the most people to simultaneously unwrap a piece of candy. The event was organized by the student-wide activities team. In order to break the previous record, they needed to have 590 students participate, and 614 students showed up. President of SWAT, Briley Garrett, said that last year was such a big success with having 700 students help break the record of the most people in a game of hide-and-seek that they wanted to break another record this year. They were looking for a record that could involve a large number of people so no students would be turned away. Dutchman's Hidden Valley Country Store in Hamilton, Texas, donated all the candy that was used during the event. Garrett said she wasn't sure about future plans to break another record. In Stephenville Regional News, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, a local filmmaker, Brandon Allen Powell from Gorman, has recently learned his no-budget feature, Trial by Self, has been accepted to the San Tropez International Film Festival in May. According to officials, approximately 60 of the best films are chosen out of thousands of features, shorts, and documentaries that are submitted. Trial by Self was given seven award nods by the committee. Of the 60 features, short films, and documentaries accepted to the festival, five are nominated for the Best Feature Film category, and Trial by Self is one of them. The film was also nominated for Best Lead Actor, James Byron Hauser, Best Lead Actress, Kat Angle, Best Supporting Actress, Jessica Guess, Best Cinematography, Brandon Allen Powell, and Best Editing, Brandon Allen Powell. This isn't the first festival tri Trial by Self has been accepted to, and Powell said he is excited the film is getting so much buzz. And now today's Texas national and international news from the Associated Press. In Texas news, a paroled Colorado inmate who may be linked to killing the state's prison chief led Texas police on a high-speed chase that ended when he crashed into a semi-truck and opened fire before being shot down. Evan Spencer Evel was reported driving the same Cadillac that was seen leaving the neighborhood after prison chief Tom Clemens was shot. Colorado police said there is a strong connection between Evel and the shooting of Clemens and Nathan Leon, a Denver pizza delivery man, but would not clarify if they thought Ebel was responsible. The car chase began when James Boyd, a Montague County deputy, tried to pull over the Cadillac around 11 a.m. in a routine stop. The driver opened fire on Boyd, leading to the chase which ended when he crashed into a semi, trying to evade his pursuers. He opened fire again after the crash, but is not expected to survive. In national news, British Petroleum asked a federal judge to sanction its cement contractor, Halliburton, on the Deepwater Horizon drilling project. BP is accusing the company of withholding critical evidence that could have been used at the ongoing trial regarding the 2010 oil spill off the Gulf Coast. In a late night court filing, BP lawyers cited the company's alleged destruction of cement samples as grounds to rule that the contractor's cement design was flawed before the blowout of the well. BP says its inability to test the missing cement samples impaired its ability to defend itself at the trial. In international news, Opposition National League for Democracy lawmaker Win Teen said at least 20 people have died during the last two days of rioting between Muslims and Buddhists. The rioting took place in a Myanmar town while residents were locked in their homes, afraid to roam the streets. He told the Associated Press Friday by phone that at least five mosques were burned down since Wednesday when the violence started in the town of Mictala. He said fires continued to burn when angry Buddhist residents refused to allow officials to put out the fires burning on Muslim homes. In sports, according to the AP, Buffalo Steve Ott won the game in the sixth round of shootouts, rallying a 5-4 win against the Toronto Maple Leafs set Thursday night. Goalie Ryan Miller stopped 32 shots in overtime, but Tyler Bozak got the tiebreaker. Christian Erhoff helped the Buffaloes win their fourth consecutive game this season. And now today's weather. According to the Weather Channel, today expect a high of 63 and a low of 46, and a 10% chance of precipitation. Tomorrow there will be a high of 76 and a low of 37 and a 20% chance of precipitation. And Sunday will be a high of 56 and a low of 34 and a 0% chance of precipitation. 
Today's broadcast was produced by Ian Traub, Monet Gerald, Tatiana Clemens, Samantha Townsend, and Ashley Eller. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter, and check us out on our website at www.texannews.net. I am Kendra Gear. Tune in Monday for the latest news from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas.